Howdy YouTube! It's your friendly neighborhood Chef Shatry here. Happy 4th of July! And I'm going to uh, wash this, uh, uh, what they call a convertible boot. Or convertible cover. Yeah, it's a cover that goes over the top of the convertible top when it's down. And you can see it's pretty, pretty nasty. I've already got, I'm using this stuff right here. I figured that would be uh, pretty, pretty good to use on this. And I've already started on it. So I uh, thought I'd uh, show you this real quick. How dirty it is. And I'm going to be scrubbing it good here real quick. Figured I started scrubbing it. I thought, oh, I better take a video of this real quick. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this uh, boot cleaned up here real good and show you guys what it looks like after I'm done here. So, I'll get on this and clean her up. Okay, there's the top side. That looked too awful bad. It's got some uh, staining on it, which I can't really get out, as you can see here. But anyways, that's probably as good, good as going to get it. Unless I get some real harsh cleaner. But then I would probably might damage the material. But anyways, there we go. There's the top side. Now I'll flip it over and do the bottom side. The bottom side's even worse. Okay, there's the bottom side. As you can see, it's pretty nasty. I do believe that's probably black mold. But anyways, I'm going to get this this cleaned up the best I can right here. I'll squirt some of this stuff on it and see what happens. Well, I guess that's about the best I could do with it. It's still there, but I put some of this stuff on it. This Zep antibacterial disinfectant and supposed to kill mold and stuff. So, yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave this uh, dry here and see what happens and it's probably about as clean as I'm going to get it. I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it, even scrubbed it with a wire brush to try to get some of it out. But there we go. So I'll let this thing dry and I might come back and if it's dry enough I'll put it on the convertible and see what it looks like here. So let's see what, see how long this takes to dry. If it takes too long because these pads will take forever to dry i'll turn this thing upside down so it'll drip in the sun it'll it'll probably dry pretty fast anyway so i'll get back with you when i get this done and there we go there it is with the the cover boot whatever you want to call it on they're not the easiest thing to put on but once you get it started and you got snaps around here you got snap then you gotta put this in or up here, put the snaps on on each side. And then there's a pipe that you gotta kinda put in a groove up here. I don't have this one in all the way, but anyways, it must have popped out. You gotta put a pipe, a piece in across here. And then across the sides here, there's a lip here that you gotta, plastic that you gotta shove in. But anyways, it's, it's on. And that's what it looks like with the with the cover on. So I hope you guys like this. You can see what this thing looks like with the boot cover, whatever they want to call it, on the car. Makes it look a little bit better while it's, the top is down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Me cleaning this uh, cover up. I do have the bag for it too. So, my Fox Body guys out there, it's got convertibles. Yeah, I may have the cover for the back and the case. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is another little video of my 83 GLX convertible. So, give one good lasting look at it. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a have a have a good Fourth of July. It's Fourth of July, so hope you guys watch some fireworks tonight. I'm gonna watch them on TV. The Macy's uh, fireworks display on TV. Oh.
I hear some going off here. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I hope everybody has a happy 4th of July night. So, catch you guys next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.